I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and today we are going to talk about what to do if you have a color of yarn you're really not a fan of and we're going to talk about how to reset this into a blank canvas so you can start all over again by undying the yarn. The first thing that you want to do is scour the yarn. Now this is a step I normally don't do, but you want to wash the yarn with some soap to try to get it to bleed as much as possible. That way you can start off by removing as much of the dye from your yarn as is physically possible. I set up a pot with about 24 cups of water and a cup of this undying solution. Now, since my yarn is green, I want the green undying solution here in the pot. So that way it'll help neutralize the color and sort of help concentrate it into bits that I will be able to pick off later. So you can see I'm adding our green washed yarn into the pot and crossing my fingers, hoping that this is going to work its magic. After, say 30 minutes or so, I'm gonna add a little bit more of now the colorless undying solution. It's proprietary, I can't share the brand that it is because it will be coming out at some point. But now as I start moving the yarn through, we see color in the water, that is great. That's what we wanna see, we want that color to come out. But as time goes on, I'm moving the yarn through and hopefully, it may take a little while, you'll have to be patient, but in a little bit, you're gonna start to see some of the color sort of shrink back and look, see, it's becoming white again. And so you just have to wait and slowly, slowly, the color is gonna get really concentrated. Now, you'll notice color going into the water and then coming back out of the water. That is fine. Um, that is to be expected because now, we have our yarn treated with the color removing solution. Off camera, I sprinkled some of the blue and green undying powder onto the countertop. So that way I could add our yarn that we wanna finish removing this color from back onto the counter. This will help those dyes clump together. So that way after I rub the attractor onto my gloves and bring my gloved hands back over to the yarn, you're going to see that I can actually remove and attract these colors from the yarn back into my gloves. And in fact, this color removing solution dries out the powder so well that you can actually put it back in the original dye container. So not only are we resetting the yarn so that way we can re-dye this yarn, but we're resetting the dye so we can reuse this dye again to create another type of colorway. It's a little bit of a laborious process to really soak up and lift up this color. It might look like magic, like it's just floating up into my gloves, but I promise this new undying chemical is really, really amazing. Unfortunately, it is gonna be rather expensive. I don't know when it's gonna be released, but I think it's probably gonna be like $100 for one gram, and so, you'll have to consider whether or not the effort and the cost is worth it. But you are able to remove that color that you just weren't a fan of. And so that way you can end up with your bare yarn. Now, just like when I speckle yarn, you have to flip the yarn multiple times. To remove it, you will also need to flip the yarn a few times to really try to get that dye off of the surface. It does take time and it is expensive. I don't know when it's gonna be released, uh, hopefully soon, because I know we have all had projects that we thought were hideous and that we really wish we could just start fresh and redo. And so forget over dyeing, now undying is an option. The final thing we need to do is wash the yarn and neutralize that undying agent and, and dry it off so we have our blank canvas again. I'm adding this to just some plain tap water and then we're gonna pour in the neutralizing agent, which not only removes all of the undying stuff we had in the solution, but it's also a quick drying agent. So that way, as you move it around on the yarn, just watch this, 
you're gonna be able to remove dry yarn from the water. It repels the water so the yarn can be dry. And then you can take your yarn uh, and either leave the zip ties on to dye it again, or you can remove the zip ties and set it back up um, into your stash as just the beautiful dry bare yarn. And if you really want to finish everything off, you can even put a yarn label from the manufacturer back on the yarn so that way when you start over, it really feels fresh. <laughs> enjoyed this silly little video. Doing a non-serious video is a little bit of an April Fool's tradition. There's a playlist where you can go look and see other silly things that I've done in previous years. And to thank you for getting this far in the video, I have a little treat for you. You can use the coupon code APRILFOOL23 in the Chemnitz Creations Etsy shop for 23% off all ready to ship yarn today, April 1st, 2023, through tomorrow, April 2nd, 2023, at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time is when the coupon code ends. Uh, as I said, uh, the April Fool 23 code is available on Ready to Ship Yarn. It's not available for lab partner listings or for any pre-orders like the SMSMS yarn. Unfortunately, there is no way to remove color from yarn. This is actually a stunning green. But if you do have a color you don't like, your best bet is to over dye it to try to transform it into something else. Color removers like OxyClean and like RIT color remover uh, damage the wool fibers a bit. I've, those are two of the things I've tried in other videos and I don't recommend it. Now, while filming this video, there is a third skein of this yarn and it will be in the shop. Maybe it's still in the shop. <laughs> Please subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a new video. 99.9% .9 of the content I produce is, uh, hopefully helpful <laughs> when it comes to dyeing yarn versus being nonsense like today's video. And subscribing is the biggest way to help support the channel. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and thank you so much for watching.